All right, this is your video on fermentation. So this is the uh, respiration process that occurs if low oxygen levels are uh, available, um, or I should say high oxygen levels are not available. Um, so we start off with glucose, and glucose is going to be broken down into pyruvate in both uh, fermentative processes. We have two different types of fermentation, uh, one of them being uh, lactic acid fermentation, which is on this diagram here, and then we also have uh, alcoholic fermentation, which is present here. So first, we'll talk about the lactic acid fermentation. Glucose is split, and we produce two ATP, and NAD gets reduced into NADH. Now, what determines the type of fermentation is the ox is the uh, the enzyme complement. So in this case, if an organism has lactate dehydrogenase, then it's going to undergo lactic acid fermentation. And we happen to be one of those organisms that contains that have this enzyme. Um, so after pyruvate has been formed, uh, the enzyme acts on pyruvate as well as pyruvate being um, oxidized, or excuse me, reduced, because the NADH that was just made ends up being oxidized to form NAD plus again, and of course we just have, you know, a cyclic nature going here. And then pops down once the uh, lactate dehydrogenase has um, catalyzed the reaction, the end product is lactic acid. So if we look at the overall equation at the bottom, we have uh, a glucose molecule, and in the presence of two ADP and two uh, phosphates, we're going to get phosphorylation of ATP here, and then we're also going to get um, the, uh, the lactic acid byproduct. Okay? That's lactic acid fermentation. Now, uh, alcoholic fermentation is again uh, going to occur when there's uh, little oxygen available. Um, now we have some different enzymes here, right? Um, if an organism has pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase, okay, um, I'm not too worried about you remembering um, these different enzymes, but what is important is that you realize that the different enzymes are what govern what type of fermentation occurs. Okay, because if you notice, we still have the same, uh, you know, we still have the phosphorylation of ATP up here, and we still have the, re the reduction of NAD plus up here, and of course, further on down the line, we have the oxidation of NADH, so the same, uh, the same spiel occurs, right? But there is uh, another product that forms in alcoholic fermentation, and that is carbon dioxide. So it's important to, when you're differentiating between the two of them, you need to know that there is an additional product with alcoholic fermentation, and that is carbon dioxide. So going through the process, uh, we have um, uh, we have glucose breaking down the pyruvate, and then the release of two carbon dioxides to uh, eventually form, when the carbon dioxide leave, that forms the, uh, the acetaldehydes. The acetaldehyde is then oxidized from the NADH, which then becomes NAD, so that goes, this guy goes back up to the top to be reduced once again when glycolysis occurs. And then um, with the presence of the dehydrogenase, the acetaldehyde turns into ethanol. All right, but that's fermentation. Pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions, um, be sure to ask.